Hey everybody, David Essel here, All Faith Minister, motivational speaker, author, and more. And Mel Gibson's been in the news again, been in the news big time. And I want to talk about the tapes, and not from a gossip point of view, and um, but really from a learning perspective. I didn't have a chance to listen to any of the tapes whatsoever until a couple days ago, and by accident, quote unquote accident, I was driving down the road, and all of a sudden I hear them say, you know, what you're going to hear next is part of this, and I just said, okay, well, let me let me tune in, and I was listening, and of course, you know, what we believe to be Mel Gibson's voice was um, raging and filled with anger and all that, and that's not even a judgment because I don't know the whole story. But the reason I'm doing this segment is because I want to talk about the female's response, supposedly his girlfriend's response. In, in teaching communication, especially with couples, which I love to do and I've been doing for the past 20-something years, one of the things that we always look at is we say, what does it mean to disengage emotionally as much as we can during a heated argument? What does it mean to try to make the most out of an argument where a couple is really going at each other. How do you possibly keep some type of an emotional base during um, a, an argument that's so difficult and tough? And here we're talking about you know money, we're talking about name calling, we're talking about children, we're talking about some really heavy duty stuff in a relationship. And the question is always when I'm working with a couple like okay one of you starts an argument and then it escalates and it escalates and before you know it both of you are highly irrational, and I've been there too, highly irrational, meaning that nothing good is going to come out of it. Well, as I listened to, I think it was like five minutes long, as I was listening to this, this taped recording, the thing that continued to blow my mind was the calmness of the female voice. Like, and as a matter of fact, that afternoon I went in to do a training here in Florida with, um, with a group of individuals, uh, counselors actually. I went in to do a group training program for counselors and I use this as an example. Like if we could understand during an argument that one person needs to stay sane, quote unquote, that one person who refuses as much as they possibly can to be pulled into the emotional concept of name calling and degradation that there's actually something powerful that can come out of an argument and that is that we might release some statements that we've been really wanting to say but we haven't been able to because of fear of rejection and all the other reasons and I'm not justifying who we believe to be Mel Gibson's voice I'm not justifying his his anger and the way that, he, that the outburst occurred but I am saying that it was powerful to listen to the female voice come back with statements of reason, statements of dedication, statements of more factual responses than just simply an, an emotional monologue. And it was a great example. If you have a chance and you listen to the tapes, I'm not encouraging you to go listen to them from a gossip point of view by any means, but, but at least the tapes that I listen to, it, it is something we all can learn from. If we're involved with an argument with a spouse, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, a best friend, a neighbor, a child, a mother, father, whatever it is, is that when someone gets emotionally unglued and they go to the place of name calling and they go to the place of, um, of extreme obscene comments is that there is some power that we can sense and maybe even get some sense out of the conversation if one person is able to stay somewhat grounded as the female voice here did. So I'm sharing this with you today because again I'm always looking for answers and examples of something good and most people that I've heard talk about these tapes of course they stay focused on everything that the male voice is doing wrong. Where in, in, in my work I look for well, what is right here? What is really powerful? And I think the female who was on this tape took this amazing stance and gives us all an opportunity from what I listened to, to see what it's like to stand in the fire of a relationship. And let's face it, not all relationships are calm. And I'm not even saying that, that arguments or heated arguments in a relationship are wrong. I'm not even going to go there. But, but to hear the voice of, of somewhat of a comment, of a restraint, of someone who is trying to stay along the facts, was really fascinating. So if you have a chance to listen to it, listen to it, but listen to it from a learning experience, not from the experience of um, how can I gossip about you know Mel Gibson going down if that was the male, male voice on that tape. Okay, take something powerful out of it. The next time that you're in a situation where the argument gets heated, think about staying solid, staying grounded, removing your emotional response. At times it's really difficult. 
and then watch the shift. I mean, I learned immensely from listening to these tapes, and I think that you might as well. Give it a shot anyway. And if I can help you in any way, please contact me at talkdavid.com. And don't forget to send these messages, these YouTubes that we're doing to as many friends as you can share. It's all free. We're doing this as a free service. It's definitely public service announcements. And don't forget to join our subscriber list if you haven't already. Okay? And I'm wishing you the best day and the healthiest relationships always. Bye now.